Hey everyone, my name's Andy. My channel's Finding Value. Uh, if you like this content, please subscribe, click the thumbs up button, uh, and leave some comments. Today we're going to talk about uranium and could it be the ultimate bet? And I'm going to look at it from a little bit different perspective uh, than what you've probably heard it from. Uh, I'm going to talk about energy return on energy invested and why uranium could be the ultimate bet uh, as it's the highest form of, of, of energy, the highest uh, energy returns uh, on energy invested. So we'll, we'll bust in here. I call it the uh, uranium, the ultimate bet for a long-term investment. Uh, so energy, you know, wealth comes from two things, having a natural resource uh, and converting that natural resource to a product. Both of these things need energy to harvest natural resources or converting it to a usable product. Uh, the world is running out of high energy return on energy invested fuels. Lots of alternative energies do not have uh, at all near that high of energy return on energy invested. So as economies grow, we're going to need lots more energy. And as energy from fossil fuels decline their energy returns, we are going to need more and more energy that is of high quality. So looking at what could be the ultimate bet when you're playing a long game here. Uh, peak oil will change society and it, it's probably going to happen in the next 10 years. And what that's going to do is it's going to drive the uh, higher use of natural gas, uranium, and maybe even coal. I know that sounds ridiculous, uh, but anything with a high energy return on energy invested is game. It's going to be on the table because we can't have an energy starved world. Uh, populations are, are not going to like that. <laughs> uh, and, and oil is already diving down the cliff, the energy cliff already. So um, oil is probably game out even if we don't have peak oil. Alternative energies use materials extensively and have a low energy return on energy invested. This will drive nations to higher energy systems. And if you don't know what energy return on energy invested, I have a clip. I'll put it in the link below if you don't know what that is. Some uranium mines with high uranium concentrations with easy to mine locations could be the ultimate bet. That could be the, the biggest returns of, of anything. Uh, because if it's easy to mine, it will be low cost. And if you have high uranium concentrations, you're going to get a very high energy return on energy invested. If you invest in that mine, you're going to be doing so when deficits come for uranium uh, and when we have peak energy return on energy invested and when the population and the world as it grows needs more and more energy and especially high quality energy. So uranium could potentially have the highest energy return on energy invested. Here is a chart of some of that energy return on energy invested. Solar's down here, biomass on the left, we shouldn't even be going after that. Here's wind, and wind is not returning very well. It's somewhere in between these two numbers. Solar, CSP in the desert, a little better, but it is far more lucrative to run this, you know, anything over a 20 or 28, far more lucrative to be over here and 75. And it could be even higher if you can have a high, you know, if, if they find something in the Athabasca Basin that, that's easy to mine, that could be greater than set a return of 75. Here is the uranium supply demand balance to 2035. Obviously, we're right here at 2020 with a small little um, deficit and the deficits grow into the future. Now, if you find a very high energy dense, uh, energy return on energy invested uranium mine, and you go into production over here, you could be on sitting on an absolute uranium mine is what I'll call it. Uh, I was gonna say a gold mine, but it could be worth far more than gold because of the utility to society. So in a world of scarcity, 
when scarcity of energy exists, nations will flock to high energy return on energy ingested fuel types. Uranium could be some of the highest on the planet. This could make uranium the ultimate bet in the long term for humans gathering energy. So everyone's going to say win, 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 win. When is the question, right? I think we're already declining in terms of energy return on energy invested for oil. It's at six, which is not very good, six or seven. Peak oil could happen around 2030, that's, that's flow rates. So the flow rate could peak around 2030, but we're already declining on energy return on energy invested. I think natural gas could happen shortly thereafter uh, in the late 2020s, 2030s. Uh, we, need, we need to grow energy for financial growth and population growth. That is a fact. More energy is going to be needed for EV vehicles, power lines, for mining all of these materials for electric vehicles and all of this alternative energies. So perhaps during this next bull market, towards the tail end of it, all of this could happen. And if you look at the supply uh, deficits for uranium, they really start to grow at the end, you know, towards 10 years from now. I mean, it's, it, they grow massively. So could, could this lead to a super spike in uranium costs? And I, yes, I, I think it can, very much so. Because you're gonna pay the, the, the top dollar for the highest energy return on energy invested. It's going to get a premium. And we already have, you know, uranium projected deficits. So if you have deficits and you have the highest quality fuel in terms of energy return, energy invested, it is going to lead to much, much, much higher prices, in my opinion. So conclusion, we need to invest in uranium companies that can have outsized exploration potential that can easily be mined. They need to be in production in late 2020s to early 2030s. This could be the ultimate bet if we run in, into an energy scarce world for an exponential growth of energy use to sustain wealth creation and population growth. We need to get invested in companies that can explore and find a lot of pounds in the ground that are easy to get at. If we can find such scenario the returns are going to come. Anything with that high of quality uh, energy return is going to get a massive premium in the future. This is Finding Value. If you like this content, please subscribe and click the thumbs up button. Thank you.